Imagine you're telling a childhood story, the time you got lost in a supermarket. You remember the announcement echoing through the store, the tall shelves, the harsh white lights, and the panic rising as you searched for your mother. You've repeated that story so many times that it now feels crystal clear, almost like replaying a video in your mind. But here's the part most people never hear. That video never existed. In neuroscience, this process is called memory reconstruction. Your brain didn't store the full moment you got lost. It only kept fragments. Fear, a bright light above you, the clatter of shopping carts, and someone bending down to ask if you were okay. Every other detail you think you remember was built later, piece by piece, each time you recalled the event. In one study, adults revisited the exact supermarket where they believed they had gotten lost as kids. When they watched the security footage from that day, many were shocked. The woman who held their hand wasn't their mother. The aisle they swore they cried in didn't exist in the store that year. Some even remembered the smell of fresh bread, but that location never sold food. So where did those details come from? Their brains filled the gaps using later experiences, family retellings, or what felt emotionally consistent. They remembered the version that made sense, not the version that happened. What unsettles neuroscientists most isn't that memories can be wrong. It's that the person holding the memory is completely certain it's right.